Well, 1218 is the time. First time in a long time we've seen some good returns showing up on StormTrack 12 Alive Doppler radar, uh, mainly west of Highway 17. But you'll notice there, Williamson, Windsor, especially back into the um, eastern part of Williamson, back in towards Chicago and Pitt County, even back down in towards Duplin County. Good soaking rainfall, nothing severe associated with this. And there we are live in Jacksonville. Definitely got the cloud cover waiting on that rainfall to move in here. And again, I'd say within the next half hour, 45 minutes, areas east of 17 are going to start to see some of that rainfall in here. Notice this vivid line in the clouds here, that clearing line. That's the front. That's going to be sweeping through the area here. Enjoy the warmth out ahead of this front while we've got it because yeah, we get the sunshine for the middle of the week, but a lot of cold air coming in with that. In fact, there's those numbers. New Bern, we're sitting at 62, 66, 67 and Beaufort already down to the mid 50s where the rainfall is coming down in uh, Kinston and Greenville. And then this is the air that comes over the mountains that's going to be in our neighborhood as we head through tomorrow. Let's time it out here for you. Future track does show that front slipping through the region uh, shortly after sunset. Most of the steadier rainfall for inland spots comes to an end and even the coastal areas as we head overnight tonight. Big high pressure slides in from the Ohio Valley. No real big issues if you're doing any kind of traveling east of the Mississippi River tomorrow. Even going into the day on Wednesday, this high pressure still holds tight across the area. This will eventually be our next weather maker coming our way late Thursday night after sunset and going into Friday. So we'll have to wait and see how that interferes with any possible ECU gameplay there. 330 kickoff on Friday may kind of be close with some of that rainfall still holding tighter in the area here. Uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. That's the most rainfall we've seen from one event here for much of the month of November. You'll notice though that cold air firmly into the 40s with the gusty winds feeling like the 30s tomorrow afternoon down near or below freezing for the first part of Wednesday. We do see those showers back in here on Friday and then another cool down coming through the holiday weekend.